Hi everybody, it's Diane here. As I imagine you read, we're making journaling tags, spots, cards, whatever you want to call them. And this is inspired by Helen at Moss Cottage. I will put her info in my description area. I encourage you to watch her video because I'm not going to go into all the details. Not that this is tricky or anything, but you need brown paper. <laughs> this is some sort of packaging that I just happened to come across. <laughs> right before I was going to do this video. So that's a pretty nice way. It's like cardstock. So that's that. The rest of this is grocery bag that's doubled over and I just put a you know a couple lines of a glue stick in there just to kind of tack it down. Okay. They all have a raw edge on one side to make them look more vintage. So um, Helen, what she did was have a paper um, on the front of each one, somewhat decorative, but not overly, you know, so you could put something on it. It's not bad. It's a little narrow. Okay. So I would do the same thing, kind of tack. And then sew around and actually sew it to more so the card. That was actually a pretty cool look. I like that. And then she uh, had white paint or gesso, I forget which it was, on the back where you could write. I think I'm going to put paper on, though, because I have a lot of burner cutoffs. So I will do that. Although on a card like this, you don't have to. I mean, you can write on that. But I think on some of them, I'll do that. And then the sewing will hold that down, too. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking for, I I was gifted on Christmas, it, they're papers. It's not cardstock, it's paper. A few packs and they're all sort of different. They're all, some have a design, some are just, you know, a plain color. So anyway, I thought that might be a good place to start. You know, some look like ephemera here. Pretty good. Soap contains no starch. We need to know that. Is that a big thing? <laughs> I may make more than what I have here. You know how Diane tends to do that. We'll see. So I'm doing that and then I will pop off and sew and then we'll come back and finish them off with uh, focal images. Yeah, these are going to work out pretty well. How about a color? Okay. And if you want it, as Helen said, you can make these into tags instead of cards. That's too similar. Okay, it's kind of light, but I like it. It's a little nice to have a little contrast there. That's pretty. Okay. So you could use scrapbook paper, book page, wrapping paper. Maybe this one will be double duty and I'll get two out of that. Okay. I'm going to do what I said and you know, prep these for focal images. So I'll be back in a minute. Hang on. Okay, gang, I'm back. I even turned off Aerosmith for you. I hope you're excited. So they're all sewn upon. Some have paper on the back. Some do not. You see the diff? I went around twice, with the exception of a couple. I did zigzag. You want to see the diff there, too? They both look good. I think the messy probably goes with the style more, but the zigzag is fine. Okay. And you're just saying, well, I don't have a sewing machine, or I don't like to sew. Um, as Helen pointed out, you can do it by hand, by marker. I admit it, this is better. You know, it's in person. It, it does look better, but it, this is okay. I've done this too, and I thought I'd show, I'm sure most of you know this, but in case you don't, this is just a um, 
one of these type of pens and this is just by hand okay now this is up against a ruler there is a quite a big difference there and wipe your ruler off when you're done now this this is interesting too it's just as you can tell it's more of a continuous line you don't you know that's typical this you drag do a couple horizontal once in a while that's kind of a cool look okay so there's your faux stitching it's probably not even 101 faux stitching one okay enough of that so we're up to adding a focal thing you can do this any way you want obviously um mostly what helen did was just one you know image you can make a whole collage thing on here do whatever you want i pulled some stuff i forgot i even had these these are old <laughs> collage sheet people they're not tim holt they're old print uh, you know i bought i didn't print them out i bought them like this a little short how about that? I'm not going to glue here. And these are a little large, probably. This is one of mine. <laughs> An ancestor. It's a Xerox copy. This one's kind of small. Let's see. that's okay oh I will say like here there's kind of a gap between the stitching I did run a little glue in there so it wouldn't you know not that that's a big deal but some of us do stuff like that now this one's not too big either maybe this one would fit somewhere I did add a few I don't know if you noticed not bad okay I have a few scrap of paper things I don't know about this one I grabbed some postage stamps um, is that my husband coming up with the garbage can <laughs> it sounds like it. you probably can't hear that it's kind of cute all right, I think it is him. Let me pause, I'll be right back. Okay, all I did was cut a few scrapbook paper images very loosely. It's wrong side, Diane. It's kind of cute. Okay, I will cut these better. This one, I did piece the paper together. You can certainly do that. That's nice. Let's see the postage stamps. What did I grab? Objects, art people. That's interesting. Okay. Kind of big. All right, these are larger. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and now my dog wants to go out. Boy, it never stops with you, does it, Diane? No, it doesn't. <laughs> this keeps my life so thrilling. Let me find one for this. I'll sign off. And then, oh, Frederick Remington, I like him. And then, um... I'll finish them off and come back. No. Oh, I also have, yeah, I grabbed, I forgot, these washi stickers. No. That's not bad with the red. Okay. 
Well, you get the idea anyway. Decorate these any way you want. All right, come back and see them finished. Hang on. Okay, folks, I'm done. Although this is the next day. I ran out of time yesterday. I think this is definitely a win, Helen, so thanks. Um, I forget where I left off. <laughs> I guess I was putting the images on. So I added a little to some of them. Some of them I put something on the back that has rubber stamp. There's a few rubber stamps on some of these. Some of the backs are plain. But, you know, these are fun. They're, um, you know, relatively, well, you can do whatever you want, but I made mine relatively simply. You could, certainly could make them elaborate. Definitely a good way to use up some grocery bags. And, you know, a lot of these, too, someone could write on the front, which I think is nice. You don't have to go that route and make them like that, but... And I wasn't thinking of that. <laughs> it just sort of dawned on me as I was going. Now this one... You know, I intended this to be the front, but there's so much area there to write, so I didn't put much on it. <laughs> okay, well the next time someone says paper or plastic to you, I recommend saying paper. <laughs> Alright, well thanks again to Helen. Go watch her video. Hers are kind of different. It's, you know, her take on them, a different, little bit of a different style. And thanks again to Helen for the inspiration. I hope everyone has a great day out there.